This is Ant TV returning to you from uh, the intersection of the Barbara Lathrop and William Morton Wheeler trails uh, here on Barro Colorado Island in Panama. Uh, these trails are named after famous naturalists. Uh, Wheeler specifically was a, a very, very well-known ant expert, and uh, we're going to see some really cool ants in, in this this installment. Um, it's a little hard to see here. I'm going to come up closer to it. But there's a big object right in the center of the screen right now, and it is probably about two meters, if not more, tall. It looks like someone, as it was described by one of the myrmecologists, uh, an ant expert here, like somebody went completely nuts with paper mache. And what it is, is the nest of Azteca, uh, which is a small ant, tropical ant genus the Aztec ants, and they are very, very ferocious. They're also little, and uh, I'll try and get up closer to the nest. I'm walking around someone's field plot here, so excuse the jerky camera. I don't want to stomp in the middle of the plot. But uh, I've done some sampling from this nest a little bit, a little bit earlier this week, and we're going to come up closer to it. Okay, here it is. Again, I'm alone up here. I don't have somebody to stand next to it for scale, but I'm guessing somewhere in the two to three meter range. Now, I'm going to come up closer to this Azteca nest, and hopefully we will see the inhabitants. They are very tiny. They're really, you know, the size of little pavement ants. Uh, they are also extremely ferocious. They can't sting. They will bite. They have a good way of uh, latching onto your skin, especially between the fingers can see them as little things darting all over the surface there. Um, I've caught a number of these ants with an aspirator and they found their way between my fingers and nipped me. Uh, another thing, I wish I had smell-o-vision here because when they're really riled up, uh, these are ants in the subfamily Dolichoderini, which are well known for giving off strong repugnatorial secretions that smell very strong. Uh, if you were to get a, a lot of these ants riled, you would suddenly have this sense of smelling blue cheese and coconut. At least that's the way I described it. And when I suck them up in an aspirator, I can taste blue cheese and coconut. Uh, I can demonstrate what that's like here. I mean, I obviously can't demonstrate the taste, but I'll pull the rubber tubing off my aspirator here. I've got it on a little too tight as usual. Okay. And the jerkiness is me getting this thing from around my neck. I've been wearing ant necklaces for, with an aspirator full of ants.